everybody. Happy Cardinal Day. I hope you're wearing your Cardinal shirt. I got my Cardinal red on today. I hope you have lots of red on today too. We're going to read Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct by Mo Willems. It's another really cute one. So you'll enjoy it. We like this one too. Look, those are Edwina's hands putting down another tray of chocolate chip cookies. She likes to bake, as you will see. Edwina the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. Everyone in town knew Edwina. She was the dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. Oh, isn't she nice? She's screwing in the light bulb there. Edwina helped little old ladies cross the street and she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Ah, that's so nice. Everybody loved Edwina, except Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. What a name. Reginald knew just about everything about just about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct, specifically dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, totally extinct, a report by Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. But as soon as Reginald started, Beth McFeeder asked, what about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. Then Tommy Britcher said, yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She bakes chocolate chip cookies for us. And then Ms. Mink added, maybe Edwina is baking chocolate chip cookies right now. Before he knew it, Everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. There she was, bringing cookies to the kids. And look here, there's a pigeon on his shirt. There he is. No one listens to me with that dinosaur around, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove to the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct and poof, Edwina will disappear. The next morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. They also made excellent hats, even for dogs and birds. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. His sign says, this is not happening. When protesting didn't work, he tried everything he could think of. Look at this, he's a one man band. He bangs a giant gong. He's a singing and dancing man. But no one listened. Finally, Reginald broke down and cried, boo hoo. He sobbed, why won't anyone listen to me? I'll listen to you, said a voice from behind him. It was Edwina. Reginald took Edwina to his classroom. Inside, Edwina listened as Reginald told her the truth about dinosaurs. Sign says, do not disturb. He was very persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. He was very convincing. Edwina was shocked. When he was done, Reginald felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him so well for so long. Everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew she was extinct. She just didn't care. Oh, look at his face. He seems a little disappointed that she didn't care. And by then, 
Neither did Reginald Von Hooby Dewey. Ah, the end. And look, now she's baking him cookies. Isn't that sweet? The end. Oh, and look here. There's a little hand trying to sneak a cookie. Do you guys try and sneak a cookie too? When your mom or dad or grandma and grandpa make cookies? I know my kids do sometimes. I hope you guys liked Edwina. That's a pretty cute book. We're going to read a few chapters of The Wild Robot next. So you can click on that video too if you want to watch a few chapters of The Wild Robot. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.